uh, weeds down, right? Doesn't allow an uh, uh, area for seeds to go ahead and germinate. Another benefit of it is it helps keep moisture in that soil. We know the way the drought is right now, it's important to keep all the moisture in there possible. Uh, another benefit of it is it just looks good, doesn't it, right? When we buy that bag of mulch down at Home Depot or perhaps we hire our gardener or landscaper to come put it by the truckload, it just gives it that finished look. And probably the most important benefit of mulch is that we are constantly feeding our soil. But what do I mean when I say feeding our soil? We mean that we are putting down that organic compost, that walk-on fur, that decorative bark, and it's always going to be breaking down, decomposing, and what does it do once it decomposes? It creates, it dirt. I'm sorry? It turns into nu nutrients and dirt. Fantastic, you said it right there. Nutrient rich soil is what we're creating. And part of that nutrient rich soil is something called mycorrhizae. It's a fungi. And what that does without getting too intricate in it and boring you guys, but that mycorrhizae, it has a symbiotic relationship with that tree will actually go out and mine nutrients in the soil. It will become an extension of that root, of the root hairs, and will bring in additional nutrients to the tree. So it's something that we're always striving to do is to create that living soil. So anytime you're doing mulch, you're promoting that environment where mycorrhizae will then grow and eventually flourish. And the thing with mulch is it will take, it can take many years to create that living environment. But once you get it going, you're gonna have a constant supply of wonderful soil there. But it does take years to, to be, if you go into a sterile environment, let's say you have clay soil. Five, ten years? Uh, depending on what you're using, how often. I mean, it could be as little as, you know, two, three years. But, you know, if you're in some extreme situations, it could take longer than that. Uh, mulch, I'll touch on it real quick. There are several types. Uh, gravel is a mulch. Now, keep in mind the difference between gravel and, say, your walk-on fur or bark would be that gravel does not decompose. Fantastic. Gravel is never going to decompose for you. Or it will. It takes a million years. And so if it's not decomposing, it's not doing what? It's not adding nutrients to the soil. So if you do gravel, it will suppress weeds. It will, to a certain extent, keep a little bit of moisture in the soil, but it does heat up. Now, with the way mulch is, and the way it seems like there's always something new on the, pro on the uh, horizon, new product coming out, we mentioned that we're gonna have to replace our, our organic mulch, like walk-on for possibly every four, six months. There's a new product out, it's called that plastic or rubber mulch, which everybody was running to the store to go ahead and get, and the whole selling point behind it was why you'll never have to replenish it. You put it down once and it's there forever. And what they are telling you is absolutely true. You put that rubber down, it ain't going nowhere. Not in our lifetimes, at least. Uh-huh. But isn't it shredded tires? Absolutely. But and that's that, toxic. So what's it going to do to our oceans? Absolutely. What's it going to do to our plants? Well, every time we have a rain event or you're irrigating overhead, all that is leaching into the soil. So when we think about it, why are we doing the mulch in the first place? To help promote better, healthier, thriving plants. Well, that rubber mulch, it's not going to help us do any of that other than just sit there until you finally had enough of it and you rip it out. So that's just my little spill on rubber mulch and why I'm not a fan. Do you use it in um, succulents? You know, succulents, they, I love succulents. I have several pots and throughout our yard. Succulents, same thing. They love nutrient-rich soil just as much as the other plants do. And that rubber mulch, it's not going to do any favors for them as far as creating living soil. So I would stay away from it. Um, any other questions about mulch I could get into? What's an optimal mulch? An optimal mulch? Yeah. Um, personal preference, I'll give you a couple a couple uh, options for you. Yeah. If, if you guys maybe do it yourself or as you go to the soil yard. Home Depot, they have just about a bag of everything. They have a bag of acorn sized mulch about that big. Mm -hmm. You can go down and it will take five years for that to decompose mm -hmm. in, in the backyard. They will have a smaller mulch about the size of a quarter or what we get is called a shredded mulch. And we found that it's not the biggest mulch and it's not the tiniest, but it's middle of the road, it looks good, and it'll decompose in about six months after you put it on. So if you get the smaller mulch, it'll decompose in maybe two, three months. The bigger mulch will take you five years. So we kind of go towards middle of the road, what looks good, and we're also organically, naturally feeding the soil. That's our personal preference. Uh-huh, So is it true at Home Depot that the bag mulch Dyed. They do have dyed mulch as well. And is that toxic? Um, 
any dye, I would imagine, would be <laughs> that, that they're putting on there. They may tell you that it's not, but I've seen actually black mulch now, where they have redwood right. chips, they dye them black, or they dye them bright red. It fades out. Does it? See, now, I, I didn't hear that. I'm, I'm glad you well, came today. No, I'm asking. Oh, oh, I thought that was a statement. 